Johnny come from the Joshua Tree in 87, one free hill from U2. It's 11 o'clock, time for the news with Craig McMahon. On digital radio. FM. Your smart speaker. And BBC Sound. BBC Radio Scotland. Scottish Greens have approved a power sharing deal with the SNP. The agreement was backed by members at a meeting this morning, then ratified by the party's National Council. It'll see the co-leaders, Patrick Harvey and Lauren Slater, become the first Green government ministers in the UK. Ms. Slater says the agreement will help the party shape Scotland's future. I think this means that with Scottish Greens at the heart of decision making, we will see some real changes. Things like rent control will be transformative for millions of people in Scotland. We can accelerate the development of our renewable energy industry, which will create thousands of jobs as well as tackle the climate crisis. We're particularly excited about some of the opportunities in transport, with 10% of the transport budget being put towards actual travel. These kind of policies are really going to make a difference to Scotland, and we're really excited about the opportunities to get working on them. Downing Street has confirmed that the final flight bringing home the remaining British Armed Forces personnel and diplomats has left Afghanistan. The UK's last civilian evacuation flight left Afghanistan's capital earlier. The UK's airlifted a total of 15,000 people out of the country in the last fortnight. At a Pentagon briefing, Major General William D. Taylor said US flights to evacuate citizens would continue until Tuesday. We continue to evacuate American citizens and vulnerable Afghans out of Kabul. There are approximately 1,400 individuals at the Kabul airport who have been screened and manifested for flights today. This is a massive military, diplomatic, security and humanitarian undertaking for the United States. Meanwhile, the U.S. President Joe Biden has issued a statement warning that another terrorist attack on the Kabul airport is highly likely this weekend. The Islamic State group killed 170 people there on Thursday, including 13 U.S. military personnel. Mr. Biden also promised to carry further airstrikes against the militants after a U.S. mission killed two people on Friday night. Nearly 6,000 people in Scotland have been diagnosed with the coronavirus in the last 24 hours. There were 5,858 new infections reported yesterday, nearly 1,000 lower than the previous day, but still the second highest daily figure. Meanwhile, 494 people were being treated for the virus in hospital with 49 patients in intensive care. A further eight COVID deaths were also recorded. The National Clinical Director, Professor Jason Leach, says even despite today's drop in case numbers, the trend is on an upward trajectory. And certainly amongst the highest we've had yesterday, unfortunately, broke the record. Saturdays are usually a little bit down, Sunday's usually a little bit down, but the trend is up. If you look at the seven days compared to the seven days, it's double. And doubling every seven days is high. And that would suggest the Delta variant is being predictively depressed. It is finding people to infect. So therefore, it's down to all of us. Vaccination, testing and follow the rules. I know it's familiar. I know it's slightly boring, but that's the guidance. The Royal College of Nursing has cancelled its annual meeting in Liverpool following what it calls serious allegations of sexual harassment. The union said the three-day Congress in September would now be held online after independent legal advice. And Hurricane Ida has intensified over the Gulf of Mexico ahead of its expected arrival on the southern coast of the United States tomorrow. Tens of thousands of people have fled for safety in Louisiana, where a state of emergency has been declared. Forecasters have warned that winds could reach 140 miles an hour. The sport in a birdie remain top of the Scottish Premiership after today's 2-0 victory over Livingston. However, goals from Kevin Nisbet and Martin Boyle were overshadowed by nails that Livy striker Bruce Anderson suffered a diabetic fit during the first half in the centre to hospital. Hearts are level on point of tenth after winning 2-0 away to Dundee United. Liam 